Have you ever wondered how massive rocks seem to vanish over time, or how deep underground caves are formed? Can a rock really turn into clay, or even rust like iron? Well, welcome to Magfar Online, and today, we're uncovering the fascinating answers as we dive into the world of chemical weathering. This is a continuation of our series on weathering. Unlike physical weathering that just breaks rocks apart, chemical weathering is like nature's own chemistry lab, changing rocks into entirely new substances. By the end of this video, you'll clearly understand the main chemical weathering processes, carbonation, oxidation, hydrolysis, solution, and hydration. And you'll never look at rocks and landscapes the same way again. At Magfar Online, we offer detailed, expertly curated lessons, ensuring you won't need any other resources on topics covered. But before we jump in, here's a fun question to spark your curiosity. Have you ever seen rocks with a reddish, rusty color? What do you think causes that? Share your ideas down in the comments, you might just get a shout out in our next video. And stick around till the end for a quick quiz to test your knowledge, no pressure, just fun learning. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon. By subscribing, you will not miss our weekly uploads. With Magfar Online, learning never stops. Ready to discover how chemical reactions are quietly reshaping the earth beneath your feet? Let's get started. Carbonation is an important type of chemical weathering. It occurs when carbon dioxide from the air reacts with rainwater or moisture in the environment to form carbonic acid, a weak acid that can chemically break down certain rocks. Although weak, this acid can slowly dissolve rocks rich in calcium carbonate, such as limestone. During this process, insoluble calcium carbonate in the rock is converted into soluble calcium bicarbonate which dissolves in water and is washed away. This transformation is what we call carbonation. Interestingly, cold water absorbs more carbon dioxide than warm water. This means that in cold climates, rainwater tends to form stronger carbonic acid, making carbonation more intense in these regions compared to warmer ones. Carbonation can occur both underground and above the ground. You can observe the effects of carbonation on cement in old buildings, where carbonic acid gradually dissolves the calcium carbonate in the cement. Over time, this process can weaken structures and even lead to collapse if not managed. Carbonation also plays a major role in shaping landscapes, creating features like caves, sinkholes, and underground rivers. Have you ever noticed how iron rusts when it's exposed to water and air? A similar process happens in rocks containing iron. Oxidation occurs when minerals in rocks react with oxygen in the air or water. When rocks containing iron minerals come into contact with oxygen and moisture, the iron oxidizes and forms rust or iron oxide. This reaction weakens and breaks down the rock, often giving it a reddish or yellowish color. Many landscapes around the world, including red cliffs and rust-colored deserts, owe their unique appearance to oxidation. Oxidation is one of the fastest-acting chemical weathering processes and significantly changes the strength and appearance of rock surfaces. Hydrolysis is a chemical reaction that occurs when minerals in rocks react directly with water. Hydrolysis is an important type of chemical weathering where minerals in rocks are chemically changed by reacting with water. This reaction causes the chemical bonds within the mineral to break, leading to the formation of new, softer minerals like clay. It happens most commonly in silicate minerals, especially felspar which is a major component of granite and other igneous rocks. When water comes into contact with felspar, it reacts with the mineral to form clay. 
At the same time, ions like potassium, sodium, and calcium are released into the surrounding water. This process not only weakens rocks, making them more likely to crack and erode, but it also plays a vital role in the formation of soil. The clay formed through hydrolysis helps create rich, fertile soils that support plant life. The released ions are carried by water into rivers, lakes, and oceans, where they are absorbed and used by plants. Over time, hydrolysis helps reshape landscapes, turning hard rock into soft earth and supporting ecosystems across the globe. Solution is a type of chemical weathering where rocks dissolve directly in water. Just like sugar disappears when stirred into a cup of water, some minerals in rocks can dissolve completely when they come into contact with water. This process affects rocks that are soluble, such as rock salt or chalk. Over time, the water carries away the dissolved minerals, leaving gaps or weakening the rock structure. This kind of weathering is especially common in areas with rocks made mostly of calcium carbonate or other easily dissolved minerals. As water moves through or over these rocks, it gradually wears them away. Over long periods, this can create underground spaces, sinkholes, or even natural tunnels. The process may be slow, but it plays a major role in shaping the Earth's surface through the simple power of water dissolving rock. Hydration is a type of chemical weathering where minerals in rocks absorb water into their structure. When this happens, the mineral swells or expands, and this expansion can put pressure on the rock, causing it to weaken and eventually break apart. The rock swells during wet periods and contracts during dry periods causing them to fracture and to develop weaknesses. Unlike hydrolysis, hydration doesn't change the chemical composition of the mineral, it simply adds water molecules to it. This process is common in minerals like anhydrite, which turns into gypsum when it absorbs water. Over time, repeated hydration can cause rocks to crack, crumble, or flake, especially in areas where there is regular moisture. Hydration is important in helping to break down rocks and contributes to soil formation and the overall weathering of landscapes. Chemical weathering is the natural process that transforms solid rock into new substances through chemical reactions involving water, oxygen, carbon dioxide, and living organisms. This process is influenced by several factors, it occurs fastest in warm, humid climates, varies with rock composition, for example rocks rich in calcite or iron weather more easily, and speeds up when rocks have a larger surface area exposed. Over time, chemical weathering shapes the Earth's surface, forming caves, underground rivers, and fertile soil that supports life. It plays a vital role in the rock cycle, ecosystem development, and agriculture, making it a key process in Earth's changing landscape. And that's a wrap on today's adventure into the world of chemical weathering. Isn't it incredible how something as mighty as rock can be worn down by the quiet work of water, acids, and air? Nature is the ultimate sculptor, turning stone into soil, bit by bit, over time. Let's see what you remember. Pause the video and test yourself with the quick questions that will appear. It's a great way to lock in what you have just learned. But hold up, we're not done yet. Next time, we're diving into something truly wild, biological weathering. Imagine plants cracking rocks open with their roots, or tiny organisms literally digesting stone. Yep, life itself can break down rocks, and we'll show you exactly how in our next video. So don't miss it. The link is in the description below, hit that subscribe button, smash that like if you enjoyed today's lesson, and turn on notifications so you're always the first to explore with us. Thanks for watching and learning with Magfar Online, your home for fun, smart, and simple education. Stay curious.
stay sharp. And we'll see you next time, where life meets rock in the most surprising ways.